And gentlemen, welcome back to Crusader Kings 3 Game of Thrones. It's been a while because, frankly, Baldur's Gate came out and then Starfield came out and I had to bully those people. And then Cyberpunk's DLC came out and I had to play that. So uh, we've come full circle and now we're we're playing this. And my dog is staring at me like, why, 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 why are you talking to yourself? I'm doing YouTube, Yin Yin. Yes, good dog. Good girl. Anyway, where was I? Yes, uh, we are doing the first Blackfire Rebellion, lads. I found a mod on Steam, so it's unlocked a lot of possibilities, actually. If you're interested in the mod, uh, I'll stick a link in the description for you. But we are probably going to go lose, because I don't know how we're going to pull this off. The mod starts me with a host of 10,000 men, and a thousand or so men-at-arms to call upon. Many houses in Westeros have flocked to the Blackfire banner, the banner of the rightful king. Uh, unfortunately, most of the Lord Paramounts have stayed true to the Falseborn, Daron, my half brother, and also my cousin, because that's that's uh, that's uh, that's that's the Targaryen family tree for you. It's more of a, like a family bush, more than anything, or like a family circle or something. We will rally the troops, probably march on the capital, and then hope to hell that my troops can arrive in time to actually help me out. Um, the one thing I can do is do some alliances in order to try to get some people to come actually help me. Because I kind of need help. Damon is extremely good. Extremely good. But uh, we are vastly outnumbered. So I kind of do-ish want to figure out who I can marry my kids off to as the future heirs. In order to get some alliances with people that are, uh, that are actually chill. There's high towers, but I'm pretty sure the high towers aren't with us. Yeah, they're not. They're with the Reach. So that wouldn't really help me. Uh, what about a bride for Damon? If I do matrimonial, perhaps. I can bring the Starks into the war? I mean... Uh, Bath Blacksword. That is a great name, by the way. I have absolutely no idea what the hell uh, Blacksword did to be called Blacksword. But um, as I recall vaguely, he dies in a uh, rebellion of uh, Skagos. So, yeah... Wait, did they make him... Did they make him bisexual? And is that why he's called Black Sword? Can I put that on YouTube? Is that intentional? Okay, we're just gonna gloss over that. Maybe edit that out of the video, let's. But yeah, well, uh, screw it. We'll marry... We'll marry Damon to a Stark girl. Citing the Pact of Ice and Fire, lads. And we'll bring the North into the war. All I need now is to... Bring the Baratheons into the war somehow. What about Lionel? Lionel, do you want, like, a kid? I've got Dolph. It will not result in an alliance, though, which is the only downside to all that. Aegon, buddy. I... L literally, any alliances... Really good alliances, perhaps, you could fucking pull off, buddy. Not really. I mean, the only people who are neutral on this are the Stormlands. I guess the Iron Islands haven't haven't decided what the hell they're doing. But I doubt... Yeah, they're not gonna off... They're not gonna agree because they're the Iron Islands, and they're a bunch of dicks. As is expected. But yes, uh, this is the situation at hand, Look, That's This is the situation. Uh, that's a lot of red. That is a lot of red. Not gonna lie, that's a lot of red. So I kind of need to tip it in my favor somehow. Would that work? Yes. Marry my daughter to uh, the youngest son of the Baratheons. Uh, Kala is actually married to Aegor, which is the weirdest betrothal that exists. To be perfectly honest, <laughs> it's it's fine. Little Aegon won't be able to marry his own sisters in traditional Targaryen style, but um, he will be able to take some Targaryen girls, and we'll find a Targaryen girl from later on. But, uh, the, the Targaryens have their uses, lads. We march on the keep and then do that, and then hope that the allies all group up and come help us out. I think that's the best play, to be honest. Damon Blackfire legitimately had a lot of support, lads, historically speaking. He did have a lot of support, but it was kind of scattered everywhere. And no Lord Paramount sided with him, historically speaking. So, yeah. We will march straight on the, uh... We'll march straight on the capital. And hope to hell that, uh, people... People come help me. <laughs> quick, 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 quick. Come over here. Come join up with me, boys. Get your asses over here real quick. Let's do this. Come on. Come on, boys. Quilly, get over here. The Targaryens are coming. Oh, Lord, they coming. Oh, Lord, they coming. All right. They will cross the river, lads. We will have the advantage. We'll have the hell of an advantage. Ah, oh, no, they, they need another 20,000 to show up. But still the advantage. 
And then we got the, uh, the Wentz showing up, and Baratheon with 6k. We got this, we got this, lads. Red glass filled my ass. On the banks of the Great Fork, lads, we will, uh, throw back the Red Dragon. The Falseborn will pay with his life. They're fleeing back to the Red Keep, lads. Corner them. Go, 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 go. Don't let up. The Freys are coming. We're safe. Come on, lads. Storm the Keep. Storm the Keep. They're trying to escape. They're trying to run like the little bitches they are. This is why you don't slide with Dormishmen, lads. Cowards. Lunch with them. Holy hell. My mother just wounded Prince Balor. Nope. I might Lord Lester Western was slain by an Aaron bloke. Actually, let's look at the Battle of the Great Fork in detail real quick. The Paramount of the Reach was there. Quinton Fiebel killed 141 dudes. Rob Rain, 118. Ambrose Red Tusk, 108. My mother killed 71. Agor, Bright Steel, Jesus. But yeah, Baylor, Baylor got wounded by my mum. My mum kicked ass, dude. Why? Wait a minute. What? Why is the leader? Aaron the pale. Why is the pale Griffin butt naked? I think because I've actually, I've, I've got a mod. Uh, I'm gonna divert your eyes real quick from that. But uh, I think I've got a mod installed that's supposed to do Kingsguard armor, but it's, I think it's bugged. So all of the Kingsguard may be naked. Uh, we might have to do something about that. We can have a look. Nobody look at the balls. No, nobody look at it. Actually, yeah, look, yeah, nobody even look at that. We're gonna have to censor that, boys. Not that you can really see much there anyway. Oh, look, the Dornish are coming. Ah, the Arons are coming down as well. It's too late, Arons. The hour of the Black Dragon is at hand. This was a lot easier since I got Stark and Baratheon to come join me, I'll tell you that much. I made friends with little Aegon. IRLs are showing up and getting involved. I think some, like, free Osgrays just limped over here. I have seized Jaehaerys' crown. I got a crown. I took I took Jaehaerys' crown, dude. Yoink. It's mine now, bitch. All right, well, King's Landing has been seized, boys. We now just need to hunt down the rest of the Red Dragon's... The Red Dragon's ilk? They're all lingering outside of the city. Like cowards. 20,000 cowards, let's. Thank god they're wearing clothes, though, unlike the kids. I will definitely have to uninstall that. Someone wounded Aegor. Those dicks. How could they do this? What has Aegor ever done to them? Hmm? Black was taken down there. Oh, they. Wait, what? The Lannisters. <gasps> the Lannisters are coming, let's. Rain, save me. They got the, we've got the Lannisters, and we've got the Arons, and some more Targaryen forces up north. The hour is at hand, boys. The hour is at hand. The funnest part of all this is if I win, assuming we don't have some catastrophic thing happen where we all get our asses kicked. Who just joined me? Ah, that's Ball, because uh, Otto Ball got killed. Okay. The lawyers will be remembered. Yeah, the, the cool thing, if we don't die terribly, will be uh, actually rewarding everyone. Like all of our lords at the end, and punishing the tra punishing the traitors. Stark, help the Starks, lads, get in there. Turn the tide, boys. I need everyone up here now. Go, 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 go. Come on, man, we're getting there. Dude. Everyone up, everyone up here. Go, 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 go. Turn the tide, boys. Come on, this is too close for comfort. Oh, that was too close. I was actually genuinely worried there for a split second. I'm still kind of worried. <laughs> Off a nightly to my wounded injured brother, Prince Aegor. No. Oh, they, they they cut off. Oh, God. They severely wounded Aegor. But victory is ours, lads. I like to think that Aegor just turned the tide of battle there at the end. In a great, like, final battle. Victory is technically achieved. Victory is technically achieved. And I think I actually have Lord Damon of the Westerlands imprisoned. 20,000 men just died to my 10,000. Oof, yep. Two people on their side died. Lindley died. Oh, no. Uh, Florent. Florent kicked the bucket. Fair enough. Can I now go to Lannister real quick? Uh, he's not imprisoned by me. He's imprisoned by Stark. Uh, I kind of want to continue the fight a little bit. And run down as many of the 
treacherous, the treacherous false-born loyalists. Let's just kill as many of them as we can. I think the game just cracked. Nope. Fallen rival. Ah, Baylor. Who killed Baylor? Slain in battle by Lord Ellis of Cape Thrath. But, Jesus, Stormlander killed him. My nephew is dead. Uh, cousin of Lord Paramount. Yeah, the cousin of uh, Baratheon. Terminator to charge forward, lofting his axe. Easily uh, overcomes the remaining strength of Baylor and delivers the coup to grace. Can't help but grin. The fort of Baylor fighting, uh, died fighting my wars. Prince Baylor, break spirit, is broken, lads. That was the heir to the Iron Throne, for those of you who didn't know. Yeah, see, this is why we're continuing the fight, even though we've technically won, because I, I like little battles like that happening. Yep. Tyrell's fighting some rain forces across the way. Hold in the rain! Ah, oh, bollocks. Now, oh, there's Aaron's and shit inside the capital. Get out of there, Aaron. Shoot! Shoot, bird! Shoot! Back! Bad budgie. Get out of there. So there, the Iron Islands have uh, risen in revolt. Well, not revolt, but they're raiding. Basically. All right, well, we'll end it there, lads. We'll wrap this war up because Daron's forces are obliterated. Uh, his son and heir is dead. I have his son Ares imprisoned. So we will enforce demands and the, uh, the rightful king will sit upon the throne. I've now ascended the Iron Throne and I must decide who to rule the Black Royal Rush in my stead. The Iron Throne Court. Let them see their new king. Unfold the beautiful banner bearing the emblem of House Blackfire. Yeah, I give my youngest son that territory. Victory is ours. And we have the asshole imprisoned. Crown of Aegon the First. Yes. Yes! That's the crown for uh that's the crown for Damon, lads. That is the crown of the Black Dragon. War's aftermath. At long last, we've achieved victory against those who sought to rebel against me and disrupt my righteous rule. Now that the traitors were in my grasp, the time has come to choose the fate that shall befall them. Uh, whether the show of mercy or punish them, bring them before me. Ignore that most of my king's guard are probably butt naked. That's not important. Uh, it has not come to me to leave uh, lead to the vast seven kingdoms my brother and rival left behind. I stand, I stand before my vassals, adjust my new crown, and puff out my chest. Oh, the things that I will accomplish. So the Tyrells didn't side with me, but many of the Reach did. So I'm thinking I take specific titles, like... Taking the, uh, the Lord, the, I will take the Lord Paramountcy from him, and I will take Dustin Brian Mandeville. My will be done. Take titles. Take main title. I'm stripping the Lord Paramounts that rise against me, essentially. My will be done. Tully? And they seem to think that's punishing them moderately. Sure, my, my will be done. Yeah, that's great. We're, stick we're sticking to our guns, lads. Any other Lord Paramounts that rose up against me must be punished severely. Especially the Dornish. Especially the Dornish. The Arons. Take entire land. My will be done. Valorum Coast. Stormlander. Um. He's a Stormlander, right? I'll leave it to Baratheon to decide. That's up to him. Goldtown. Didn't Goldtown side with him? I thought he did. Evidently not. Because the only Dornish house that sided with me, lads was the Ironwoods, so they get Dawn. And I was gonna give the Reach to Osgrey, but we might have to do that later. I know who I'll give the Westerlands to, the Reigns. Uh, who joined me in the Vale? I don't think many people did, to be honest. But given the Royces, the Vale is just funny to me, so. Unless I give one of my kids the Veil. Vale. Would I give my lands and titles to uh, one of my relatives, I'm thinking? Like, that's, that's not a bad idea, right? Dawn gets to become the, uh, the Iron Woods. The Reach, I kind of want to give to the Osgrays if I can. The Westlands goes to House Rain. They sided with me. The Riverlands will just be beaten the hell out of, and I'll probably give it to the Brackens or something, because they sided with me before. The Vale... Honestly, yeah, I might just give the Vale to, say, Aemon. Although I'm currently fighting the Brackens over here. Yeah, Aegor's still around. If he doesn't die, I'll name him. The Lord of the Riverlands. The realm is currently just in absolute chaos, reeling from the whole everything that has happened, basically. 32,000 here. The Riverlands really have a lot of guys. I need reinforcements. This is a bit too one-sided for my taste. Bloody Fraser against me and everything. Come on, get the phrase, get the phrase, get the phrase, get the phrase. Kick their ass. There we go. And the Pipers as well. Defeat all these lads before they can group up. Baratheon is here with us. The enemy banner. Excellent stuff. 
go chase down these guys. Hey, we'll fight with Baratheon still. Take out those six butterball guys. Come on. There you go. Now they just keep throwing more troops at me over here. And Lord Edmund Tully is under arrest, lads. While the Starks are down here beating the hell out of everybody else. And the rebellion is put to an end. I gain dread, a bunch of valuable prisoners, and I secure the rebel lands for myself. Oh, these are Blackwoods. Never mind. <laughs> I almost just killed all of the Blackwoods. There would actually be some poetic justice to me. Just like remove. That's actually. That's. Uh, that's. So. For those of you who don't know, for some strange reason, and if you don't, I encourage you to go, you know, educate yourselves on this. But um, the history for between the great bastards of uh, of King Aegon and the unlike, uh, the unlike, not the unlikely, the uh, unworthy. Sorry, look at me, not educated. <laughs> but um, yeah, good lord, could we just everyone put your hand over the naked dude on the left here while I'm talking? Okay, this just, just put your hand. There's gonna be a big demonetized logo right there. But yeah, the uh, Aegon's mother was a. Bracken, and uh, I think Blood Raven's mother was a Blackwood. Hence, Blood, Ra uh, Blood Raven. So it might actually some poetic justice to uh, destroying the house. Although, to be honest, I don't necessarily think Damon will execute all of them. But uh, taking all their titles, that is probably something that he might. Uh, as punishment for my tr for <laughs> as punishment for your. Crime of treason. King Damon of the Iron Throne has decreed. I think they, they, the, the Targaryen blood madness is starting to set in a little bit. Actually, half of the everything is Dawn. Half of the literally everything is Dawn. Why did Dawn get all of this? Half of the Westerlands has become Dawn. Why? Why, game? No, that's not canon. That is not canon. Half of the Crownlands. Dawn just, for some reason, owns half of the realm. Uh, we'll, we'll fix that. We'll definitely fix that. That's that's not happening. What the fuck? So I broke off the betrothal to the Baratheons, but I offered Stefan a place on my King's Guard to make up for it. And he's still naked. Why are they still naked? I uninstalled the mod. <laughs> Damon Targaryen's King's Guard is so Giga Chad, lads, that they don't even need armor. That's how good they are, lads. They don't need armor to defend themselves. Armor is for simps, okay? Imagine being so pathetic and weak and scared that you need to hide behind armor, lads. <laughs> pathetic. That's some Targaryen patheticness right there. Jesus, that's pathetic. That's just sad if you think about it, really. No, no, no. Damon, Damon Blackfire's Kingsguard. Chads, lads. Uh, utter, complete chads. Yeah, this uh, this sigil mod I have is cool, but it doesn't update the models, uh, like the sigils when the factions change hands. So that's mildly irritating. This is an interesting matter, actually. Who, who's going to be my Hand of the King? Uh, I think it honestly makes the most sense to put Lord Baratheon as my Hand of the King. Okay, guys. The time is upon us for the Grand Wedding to take place. At the Red Keep, naturally. And at no expense will be spared. Uh, let's get rid of that ridiculous looking getup that she's wearing for some strange reason. Prince Damon has been knighted. Damon the Younger has been knighted, which is great. Good for you, lad. Unfortunately, your uh, your brother desperately needs to change his in hat. The whole realm was invited, lads. The whole realm will attend the wedding. In precisely about one day, apparently. Spouses Aegon Daenerys, both here. There's some sweet poetic justice to a Daenerys getting to marry a Blackfire. Because uh, Daemon himself was in love with Daenerys, and she ran off to the docks. She got sold to Dawn. This is Daemon's way of uh, getting back at them. All is well in the realm. All things considered, other than the pattern that that guy is apparently trying. Well, all paramounts have been uh, installed properly. King Damon rules from the Iron Throne. His son is married off. All of his children are married off. Better still rules from Riverrun. Uh, the Reigns from the West. Osgrey in the Reach. Ironwood and Dawn. The Baratheons are loyal in Storm's End. Acting as my hands of the King. The Starks in the North. The Ironborn are being the Ironborn. And a branch of the royal family rules from the Eyrie. So, yep. Yeah, the realm is unified, lads. And the House of the Dragon has never been stronger. That, well, that's, that's a lie. We had dragons once. We don't have dragons now. So, I guess it, it, it hasn't been this strong in a while. Martel has found out that I've been banging his wife this entire time. Uh, but I have invited my nephew to uh, come to the capital. He has lost his hair and taken off all of his clothes. You can marry the Lord Paramount of the Ridge. I'll, I'll, I'll find suitable matches for my niece and nephew. Hey, and uh, Aegon, I have a grandson. I have a grandson, lads. Burying the hatchet. Ready? Dayron is coming to me to bury the hatchet. 
No, there will be no burying of the hatchet. Curse undone. Aha! He's dead. Excellent. Now all we need to do is get rid of our damn Stark... Stark girl. It will piss off the Starks just a little bit. But, um... Only by minus five. And I think that Damon uh, is going to marry Daenerys after all this time. Left. I've decided to grant the request to hear into the true faith. Yes, see, she's a, she's a Northman. So on the grounds of the fact that she is a heretic, air quotes, uh, the High Septum accepts my technicality. And then Damon marries the love of his life. And we all live happily ever after. We will even host a grand wedding, lads. Again, another grand wedding. The Only the best. Only the best for Daenerys, lads. Only the best for the love of Damon's life. But yes, lads. A poetic end, if I don't say so myself. As I say that, Aemon is killed. Who just killed my kid? Assassinated by Lord Peter Hunter. Can we point out the fact that my son has apparently adopted... Um, that's uh, a Valerian cult. Okay, that is a strange choice. But, uh, yeah, we need to kill this dude. He just murdered the Prince of the Realm. The wedding will not be cancelled, lads. It's too important for that, but... I will rally the banners, and they will go deal with this asshole, and drag him kicking and screaming back to King's Landing. I'm gonna send Aegor to deal with this. Aegor will bring justice. And, uh, all of the hunters will die for this. While the king gets married... Bitter Steel is gonna go shove his Bitter Steel off these guys' asses. Oliver! You're a member of my King's Guard, dude. I'm looking after you. Wedding ceremonies are always long, pretty boring, except when a commotion starts for him. I have something to say! Oliver, Daenerys' son, booms from inside the crowd. Is this the very best you could replace my father Marin with? He's the King of the Iron Front. For, for, the, for the love, for the love that Daemon holds towards Daenerys, I will not kill this boy. <laughs> For what he just screamed. Okay, seriously, you're starting to piss me off. Oh, dude. When you see that my attention all of a sudden starts addressing me directly, it's truly a shame we couldn't find anyone better for Paul Daenerys, but such is life. My own Kingsguard and nephew is being a whiny little bastard. The ceremony went on a blur. I can barely remember all the steps, other than the fact that my nephew keeps fucking cussing me out. And finally, lads, righting the wrongs in history, Damon Blackfire gets to marry the love of his life. And uh, save him, save her from the clutches of the Dornish. Ah, there you go. I can invite to the King's Guard. 100%. There you go. Have a really she. He's not the best fighter that has ever existed. I have better. I have better knights at my side for the King's Guard, certainly. But if I make Valar take off of his clothes, that is one less Targaryen for me to worry about. My King's Guard, Valar Targaryen kneels before me, swearing to exchange, blah, blah, blah. He rises, now pledged to ward you all of his strength. He is not the greatest fighter that has ever existed, but I don't care. It's primarily just my... My goal is primarily to get the Targaryens out of the line of succession completely, and uh, I can keep an eye on Valar as my King's Guard, as the weakest of the King's Guard, lads. I have otherwise very loyal King's Guard in Rob Rain, Stafford Baratheon, Cray Call, Corbury, Lawfren, and uh, the Martell boy, who is my nephew, technically. We're not exactly the best of friends. I'm his stepdad. I'm banging his mom, lads. But yeah, that's, uh, that is that. Oh, interesting. I can actually assign roles to the King's Guard to act as, like, bodyguards and stuff. All of Daeron's sons are either dead or at the Night's Watch. Daeron Targaryen's taken to the Faith. And then he's taken to the faith, and he's gone to the Citadel. So yeah, lads, uh, nothing much going on. Nothing much going on. We will see what happens with the rest of the rain. So far, it's not crashed again, but um, it did crash five times prior to this. So. Yeah, I generally hope that it's kind of stable, because I could do a lot of fun stuff. I do believe that's the one thing the mod is missing at the moment, is different time periods, other than just Robert's Rebellion, because I have done that a billion times now. So it is nice to have other stuff. Hell... He gone running away with some away with some with some lowborn girl that he bumped into. Uh, I tried to duel him to make him not do it, thinking that Damon the Black Dragon is gonna kick his son's ass. But I think I have underestimated Prince Aegon, because he is he he is somehow beaten his father. Yeah, due to sudden death, he got very lucky. I am knocked down, weakened by the fighting as Aegon approaches me with weapon in hand. I told you already, I am leaving, father. For my troubles, I will be taking a sack out of the treasury. I'm sure you understand. I can do nothing but watch as my son leaves. With Adelaine on one arm and my gold held in the other. 
He's just wandered off with some lowborn nobody. Insolent child. He's divorcing his sister and marrying some lowborn nobody and then wandering around the countryside doing whatever the hell he wants. This is this is a scandal, the likes of which the realm will not recover from. Okay, well, Daenerys needs a new husband now, I guess. And the Starks were allied to me for the longest time, so sure, whatever. If they pop out kids, then uh, the future kings of the Iron Thrones will have cousins in the Starks. And if not, then uh, Krigard Stark inherits and his daughter will inherit, and I have married her, matrimonially, to the Targaryen boy. So they'll be stuck, so that line of the Targaryens will fade out. But yeah, my, my son has literally just f***ed off and is now wandering around the countryside. He has apparently gone up north. For reasons. Jesus Christ, this, Christ, this game is breaking, man. It's falling apart at the se seams. But uh, meanwhile in the north, my daughter Daenerys, after breaking up with my idiot son who ran away with that lowborn girl, uh, married the Stark. But Stark died, but he did have a daughter before he died. So, uh, my daughter is now ruling as regent for her daughter in the north. And, uh, keeping that maintained. So, the princess has found a new purpose up north. And, uh, she's ruling over Winterfell for her daughter. The Riverlands are still under the bed of steels. My grandsons. The one thing that has changed is I've given Blackwood Vale to Maelor Bloodraven. Since Brendan Rivers is, uh, half Blackwood himself on his mother's side. And the Blackwoods have been ousted. I figured it made more sense for Blood Raven's descendants to control Raven Tree Hall. The Vale is still chilling. For some reason, a piece of the Stormlands controls it. I don't know why. Everything's uh, everything's pretty chill. The game is constantly crashing and is running at like 10 frames. So we will wrap this up. I just want to see if anything more interesting happens uh, during Damon's reign. But probably not, honestly. Speaking of Aegon, uh, he has returned from his adventures in lieu of the fact that his brother died, so the Blackwater Rush needed a new lord. He's come back down south, but has basically refused to come back to court. So he's in self-imposed exile as the lord of Blackwater Rush, and just doing whatever the hell he wants. Because I'm pretty sure him and Daemon have fallen out, and Daemon said, don't you bring that Dornish whore to court. Because she's Dornish, ironically. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the game is running like a slug. So usually I'd wait until Damon passes of old age and we play as uh, King Aegon and wrap up the series there. But because the thing is taking so long for the years to pass, uh, we're just going to wrap it up here. Damon Blackfire sits on the throne in a realm at peace, having ousted the Falseborn and his supporters, planting his sons and grandsons in positions of power and his supporters as well. Replacing Lord Paramountsies and securing the future reign of House Blackfire upon his rightful position on the Iron Throne. Whether or not Daemon and Aegon will uh, reconcile before Daemon passes is entirely debatable, but he's still buggering the Dordish girl, so that harlot is not welcome in court, goddammit. I would continue these things, but the uh, the mod is not very stable right now, so. It's weird. Sometimes it's, like, it's running perfectly fine now, but randomly it will run at, like, 10 frames. And when I'm trying to record, 10 frames basically means me sitting here for like 20 minutes getting nothing done. Which, uh, I, I have a lot of other stuff to get done, so we'll wrap this up. This was only ever meant to be a one-shot anyway. I have some other one-shots, because this mod adds a couple of bookmarks, lads. I'll show you, wait a minute, look. But if we look at this, it does add Aegon's Conquest, which basically always crashes. Blackfire Rebellion, obviously. This is, I think... Like, early, yeah, Defiance of Duskendale. Uh, then obviously these are the normal things. And then we do have the Clash of Kings, let's. Which means I can play as Rob Stark, I can play during the War of the Five Kings. So I will do a couple of videos with that. Probably one-shot things. What are you doing, dog? My dog is making strange noises in the background, lads. I thank you all for watching. I'm going to go crash now. <laughs> Remember to like and subscribe and hit the buttons and whatnot, as if you don't know where the hell they are. There you go, it crashed. Thank you for watching. That's all for now. So out. This war is far from over.